So if you're like us, you may be on the hunt for a great quality travel stroller. Now there are a ton of competing travel strollers on the market and today we are gonna be taking a look at the Kalugo Compact Stroller. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. McKenzie and on this channel we do product reviews and lifestyle content and today we are bringing a very special review to you. So as mentioned in my last video, we are making some changes to this channel and we're focusing more on parenting and baby product reviews because those are the things that are most important in our life right now. And with that being said, I'm very excited to bring you today's review where we're going to be unboxing and giving you some first impressions on the Kalugo Compact Stroller. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Kalugo yet, you can think of them like Mockingbird. Now, Mockingbird and Kalugo are direct to consumer stroller companies, which means they're not sold in big box stores, but you buy them directly through their website. Now, the great thing about this is they can go toe to toe for quality with companies like Uppa Baby and Nuna, but offer you consumer direct pricing and you can get a great quality stroller for a little bit less money. Now, I hope you guys are excited for this review. Let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Now, in our order, we picked up the Kalugo Compact Stroller in cool gray. Now, living in the South, one of the benefits of you getting the cool gray color is that the padding actually comes with a mesh fabric, which is gonna be great for abating some of the summertime heat we get here in the Carolinas. Now, in our order, we also added the bug net because again, we live in the South and in the evenings, we get a ton of mosquitoes and bugs, and we wanna be able to keep our little ones safe while we're strolling around the neighborhood. Now, as far as the unboxing experience, the stroller was very easy to open. It was just a couple of straps. It was nicely packaged. It was very easy to figure out where everything was. And just by removing a couple pieces of tape and a few pieces of foam, the stroller was essentially set up and ready to go. Now, the only part that was a little bit tricky and kind of frustrating was threading the shoulder straps. Now, I could have made it easier on myself had I read the directions. I would have found out that you have to remove the shoulder pads in order to thread it through the seating pad. Now that I have the stroller set up, let's talk about my first impressions of the Kalugo Compact Stroller. Now at the $285 price point, the Kalugo Compact Stroller is meant to compete directly with other luxury travel strollers like the Uppa Baby Menu and like the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 and the Jules Air 2. Now, all of those are priced significantly higher than this, and so you would expect the build quality to be a little bit lower on the Kalugo, and that is absolutely not the case. Now, on first glance, the Kalugo Compact Stroller feels really well built, and that's thanks to its aluminum frame and great frame geometry, as well as its no flat tires. So coming in at 16 pounds, the Kalugo Compact Stroller is about 10 to 11 pounds lighter than our everyday stroller, the Uppa Baby Vista, which means it's much easier to get in and out of the car and much easier to move around. Now, one of the things that I notice is that because of its compact size and its travel friendly design, there are some things about it that feel a little bit fiddly. And by fiddly, I mean, it just takes a little bit more time and effort to adjust certain things within the stroller that might be a little bit easier on a full size stroller. Now, one of those things is actually the shoulder straps, the way it threads through and the way it sits within the stroller it does feel like the straps are twisted all the time, even though they're not. Now, it took me a little while to get used to this, but once we actually put our son in the stroller, we kind of figured out how the straps are supposed to go, which makes it a lot easier to get him in and out and a lot easier to realize that the straps aren't actually twisted. It's just the way they're designed. Now, one thing I would recommend is if you are gonna go with a stroller like this is that you spend some time practicing adjusting the straps and getting the seat belt on and off. And that brings me to my next point, and one feature that I was really impressed with, which is the Kalugo seatbelt. Now, apparently in earlier models, they had a clip-in seatbelt, but this one actually uses magnets. Now, if you've ever been strapping your kids in and you've pinched your fingers, I know I've done it plenty of times, you know how much it hurts to pinch yourself or to pinch your kid with a snap-in strap. So Kalugo actually went with a magnetic design. So there's two pieces on either side that click into each other and then a main crotch buckle that comes up and clicks over a button in the middle to secure your child into the seat. 
Now, I was a little bit worried that this was not going to be solid enough, but after playing around with the strap and actually having my kid in the stroller, I can tell you that it does hold them in really, really well. And I was really surprised and very pleasantly surprised at that. So now let's talk about the sunshade. Now this stroller does come with an extendable sunshade and that sunshade provides plenty of coverage. As long as you're not walking directly into the sun or the sun's not really low in the sky, you will get some light creeping in on the sides, but ultimately it does provide good cover for your little one. And the sunshade is made out of UPF 50 plus material and even has a ventilation hole in the top, which is magnetic. So you can just roll that back if you just wanna check in on baby and see how they're doing, or if you wanna give them a little bit of extra airflow. Now, one of the things I was really impressed with was the size of the storage basket underneath the Kalugo compact stroller. With most travel strollers, storage is not really the focus because compactness and lightweightness, lightweightness, and lightweight materials are the focus. So getting a full size basket underneath a compact stroller is a huge plus. Now let's talk about maneuverability. Now the Kalugo compact stroller out of the box feels incredibly nimble and very lightweight and easy to move. It's very easy to maneuver it with just one hand and it feels very, very responsive. Now, even though the stroller is really lightweight, it's designed specifically to avoid something called tip over. Now tip over is when your child is no longer in the seat of the stroller, but you have a diaper bag or backpack attached to the handles and the weight of that bag actually pulls the stroller backwards. Now with the design and the geometry of the Kalugo compact stroller, it actually is set up so that the weight of that bag sits closer to the back wheels because it has a shorter handle. So this means that even with my full size backpack as a diaper bag, I can hang that from the handles and the stroller won't tip over even if my son's not in it. All right, so let's talk about operation of the stroller. Now, overall, the operation of this stroller is pretty simple as it is with most travel strollers. Now, to open the stroller is a very simple process. You simply unlatch the hook on the right-hand side of the stroller, push the trigger button on the handle, and then give it a flick forward. Now, in order to close the stroller, it's just the opposite. There's a little thumb button that's up behind the handle. You're gonna press that and then squeeze the handle button and then just with one motion, you're gonna fold that stroller down and get it locked into place. Now let's talk about the braking system. Now, this is where there has been some controversy about this stroller and its design. Kalugo makes use of a center aligned braking pedal. Now, this is just a lever switch, so you either kick it back to engage the brakes or kick it forward in order to disengage the brakes. Now, this is where the frame geometry issue actually comes in. So I'm five foot nine, I'm about an average height male. I think that the handle height is perfectly fine and I've never had an issue with this. But because the frame design brings you closer to the back wheels and the brakes are on the back axle of the back wheels, taller dads may have a tendency to kick the brakes on if you have longer legs. Now, again, I'm about 5'9", I've never had an issue with this, but I know for folks who are probably 6'1", 6'2", with longer legs, that this can actually be a problem. Now, let's talk about my final impressions and recommendation of this. Now, after only having the Kalugo Compact Stroller for a few weeks, we have really enjoyed using it. Now, because of the Kalugo's compact size and light weight, it means that we can travel easier with a stroller anywhere that we want to go. We can throw it in the car, we can throw it in the bed of my truck or in the back of my wife's SUV and very easily have an, a quick and easy to use lightweight stroller that doesn't take up a ton of room. Now, this is not a replacement for our Upper Baby Vista, but is something that we really enjoy using when we're on the go because it's just lighter weight and it's much, much easier to travel with than our full size stroller. And while there are a huge number of stroller choices out there, especially in this luxury compact travel category, the Kalugo is a fantastic choice. It's very well built and everything is well designed and well thought out. And it does kind of fit the bill between a full size stroller and some of the cheaper strollers that are out there. So it gives you a lot of quality and a lot of accessories for a lot less money than some of its competitors. So if you're looking for a compact stroller with big features, you can't go wrong with the Kalugo.
All right, guys, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. As always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you like more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel as it is totally free to you and we'll be bringing you more product reviews here in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And if you have a comment, make sure to leave it below so that we can answer your questions. We'll see you in the next one.